To take a photo, open the camera app. Make sure that the mode is set to still images. And go ahead and press the shutter button. A photo will be taken and saved in your camera roll. Notice the little thumbnail in the bar. Tapping it will open the camera roll and display the photo you've just taken. You can flick to the left to review previous photos and to the right to see the more recent ones. To get back to the camera, tap the camera button at the bottom left corner and if the control disappears before you manage to, tap the screen once to bring them back and tap it. There's yet another way to access the camera roll. From the camera screen, just flick to the left. To get back to the camera, flick to the right. You can take photos in landscape orientation as well. I'll rotate the phone to landscape. Make sure that the orientation has been registered, having the camera symbol and the shutter button appear straight, and I'll go ahead and tap it. Now I've taken a photo in landscape orientation. This is how the portrait photo I took will look on a computer screen, and this is how the landscape photo will look like. Choose your orientation according to how you'd like your photos to be framed. Now let's take a look at some additional options you have while taking photos. Sometimes you need to get to your camera quickly in order to catch a shot. If your phone is asleep, awaken it by pressing the home button or the power button. Notice the little camera icon in the lower right hand corner. Swipe up the screen while holding it and the camera app will open and be ready for instant use. What we look at next is improving stability while shooting so that pictures you take won't look smeared like this one. The first method for stabilizing a shot is to hold down on the shutter button and release it only when the phone is steady enough. The photo will be taken upon releasing the shutter button. The second method is by using either one of the volume buttons. They too function as a shutter button while you're in the camera app. You can try these two methods to find out which of them works best for you. The next feature we look at is adjusting the focus and exposure to the subject of your shot. Preparing to take a photo, I can tap on a certain area in the screen and the iPhone will automatically adjust the focus and the amount of light that will be let into the camera sensor to get the best result. Notice how these values change when I tap on separate objects in the frame. When I'm satisfied with the adjustment, I'll press the shutter button and the photo will be taken. Let's move on to the next feature. A common companion in low light conditions is the flash. By default, your camera's flash is set to auto, so the iPhone will automatically determine if it needs to be activated when a photo is being taken. Though if you'd like to, you can control it manually. Tap the flash symbol and set it to your preference. However, it is highly recommended that you keep the flash set to auto, since in the vast majority of cases, the iPhone will do a very good job in determining whether it needs to be used or not. Last, we'll cover using the front-facing camera. So far, we've been using the main camera, which is located at the back of the phone, but the iPhone is also equipped with a front-facing camera. The front-facing camera can prove very handy in certain scenarios like taking self-portraits. To switch to the front-facing camera, tap the toggle button at the top right corner of the screen. And you can go ahead and take a self-portrait. Note though, that when using the front-facing camera, the flash won't be available since it's located at the back of the phone. To switch back to the rear camera, 
press the toggle button again.